What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Supercross 5, hope you're doing good, hope you're doing well. We're back with some more career mode, for uh, yeah, hitting up some more 250 West. We um, Last time out we did alright, if you haven't seen that episode, obviously go check it out before you watch this one. But uh, we did a, a double race episode, so we did Arlington 1 and Arlington 2. Uh, we had very different, very different outcomes in each race. <laughs> I won't spoil it too much if you haven't seen it, but uh, yeah, race 1 was pretty good, race 2 was not so good. Uh, as you can probably tell by the championship, state of the championship, we're only uh, four points ahead of uh, Jalik Swall, Swall even. Um, we lost a lot of points in uh, in race two. So we're going back to Arlington today, going back to Texas. So this is going to be uh, Arlington free. Uh, and then after that, I think it is Atlanta. We'll try and get two races done again today. Uh, I probably won't do any of the training, the extra events, the... Um, the workout sessions, I've obviously already done it before this race, but I probably won't do it in between. Or I'll do it, but I won't do it on, you know, on the recording. So, uh, again, let me know if you want to see it, but it's all very, very, very similar. Um, in terms of skills, we are maxed out apart from one last scrub. We need one point uh, to do that, so we'll do that in a minute, obviously. Uh, and then we'll be maxed out until we get to the 450s. So, we should be all right. We should be all right. Uh, I think that's pretty much it, man. We've... Have I customised anything? Yeah, I might have switched up the gear a bit. we got a... Um, a 6D helmet going on, a bit of red and blue, just to uh, match the, the actual bike itself. And I've uh, gone back to the white Alpine stars because they look sick, don't they? So, <laughs> so I'll leave it as that for now. Uh, and that's pretty much it. So without further ado, let's go back to Arlington and see if Arlington 3 is any better than 2. Right then, at and Stadium, Arlington 3. We're, uh, we're dead last in qualifying, which is, uh, which is good, isn't it? We're doing a 58.6. Uh, the top boys are doing 55s, I think, yeah. Supposedly three seconds off the pace, so uh, we'll wait and see what happens in the race, but um, that is not looking promising. We're uh, we're carrying on from Arlington 2 by the looks of it, not Arlington 1, so... I don't know, I like this track's better than number 2, definitely. I, I definitely, yeah, feel better, but I uh, don't know, let's wait and see. <laughs> let's go to the race and see see what happens then. We ain't going to get a gate pick, we're obviously going to be uh, dead last in the gate, so no choice for us, so let's wait and see. But uh, it's not looking promising, boys and girls, not looking promising. Hopefully we can um, Hello, turn things around in the uh, the next round, but we'll wait and see. Listen to the roar. This there it is, May. I do like that glow in uh, that glow in that brace. It's pretty cool. Anyway, right. No gate pick for us. We're still on realistic difficulty. Still on short races for now for two fifties. See if we can get a good start. Oh, not a bad jump. Not a bad jump. Might get pushed out wide though. If we're not careful. Oh, can we just get around the outside? Nope. I love how when you go off the track, even on the start, you uh, get slowed down by the game, which is always good fun. Right, we're going to be right next side of him on this berm. Can we get a decent lead? Oh, maybe drop that a little bit. Come on, come on, come on, come on. It's Jalik Swall on it. He's in P2 in the championship, so that's the, uh, the main man we've got to watch out for. But obviously we need some... Uh, Whoa, we need some decent results after our shocking uh, performance in the last episode. Well, in race two at least, anyway. Race one was decent, man. We got, we got P2. Obviously, if you haven't seen it by now, then uh, that is your own fault, isn't it? Oh my days, the AI are insane as per usual. Yeah, I'm, I'm still not, um, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not enjoying the, the AI behavior. They just attack you and do not, like, it's like they don't know you're there. They're really, really just one line. If you're in their way, they, uh, they're coming through you, basically. Which, that's like proper old AI, man. We, we, we shouldn't be at that sort of level of AI in Supercross 5. You know what I mean? We've had, we've had five games now. And uh, they're just idiots. They just, they just don't even know you exist. I know Supercross, you know, they come diving up the inside of you in, in the, in the rooms and stuff. That's fine, that's fine. Like real life. But, uh, yeah. It's got no sense of where anybody else is on the track. At least that's what I'm finding anyway. That's what I'm finding. Let me uh, let me know what you guys think. But uh, yeah, that's probably my, my only complaint. And it's, it's inconsistent as well, because some races are fine. And others are just not fine. Or maybe they're not, I don't know. Maybe it's when I'm out front, you don't know yourself, so you're right front. But... Right, we seem to be... We've got a little bit better pace than the last race. At least we're in P5 and we're not getting completely... Uh, battered by everybody. Podium would have been nice, but I mean it's not over yet. We're they're messing this section up. So am I. 
Yeah, I hope you're enjoying the series so far. You're uh, definitely giving me some, some more love than usual, which is nice. Definitely getting a lot more views on some of these videos than uh, our previous stuff. That's always good. Obviously, it's a brand new game, so probably half the, half the reason. But um, no, I appreciate it, appreciate it. Especially that split screen video. Got a thousand views. Or I'm counting on that split screen video with the, with the missus, which is insane. So uh, thank you very much. Ah, oh, Pierce Bro, mate, you've completely ruined my line through there, mate. Yeah, so it's good, it's all good, it's all good. I will, um... Ugh, sand sex over there is so boggy. Yeah, I'll try and crack on with this career mode. Uh, I think we had three episodes last week, career mode, and a few other bits, but uh, I'll try and smash some of these out as fast as I can. Obviously, want to get up into the 450 class, ASAP. But, uh, yeah, I shan't have the time to record this week, really. But, um, I'll keep tripling and singling out now. I don't know if that's a good... Good rhythm section or not? Oh, I'm messing this bit up. Can we call that there? Oh, nearly, nearly. And the inside of our teammate, he's going to. Uh... Oh, I can nearly mess this both up, but I just got away with it. Yeah, as I said, I'll do two races this episode, so we'll uh, we'll jump into, I'm pretty sure it's Atlanta. Oh my days, what's going on with this sand? Where the hell has McAdoo just come from? There's nowhere near us. No, 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 no. Oh, somehow we got away with that. <laughs> we just completely jumped over the, uh, the tough blocks there, but alright, we'll take it, we'll take it. Oh, I'm so bored of the AI just beating up on me, honestly. I know I'm not running this perfect, but come on, that. That was alright for that section. Definitely made up some time there. Oh, yeah, 20 seconds to go, plus a lap. No, 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 no. Get back on the track, mate. Oh, casing everything through there. Oh, we've done a complete 180. Here we go. It's like it's like you, can, you can't make it up, can you? It's, it's the same thing every time. I always make a mistake towards the end of the race. Literally, oh, I got two laps. Got two laps, but still. Down to P9 from P P5 or P6, whatever it was. All right, I'm gonna take this dodgy line again. Sorry, buddy. Just round straight into the side of you. Single for there. Let's see if we can uh, make some time back on these dudes. I still wise me up how, how tight of a line they can take on the inside, but still carry all the speed. Literally all the speed. Yeah, I don't know. If I was if I was being brutally honest, I'm a little bit uh, a little bit disappointed in the game. It, it looks alright and it, it plays alright most. No, oh, I mean, I say it plays alright. Does it play alright? Not really. It doesn't really. If you're being brutally honest, it, it's not It's not brilliant. It's just a bit clunky still. Like, even now, I don't know. I didn't get this with MXGP at all. I know it's a completely different game, but, you know, made by the same people. Same concept. But I don't know, this just feels. I don't know. I don't know. I don't really know how to explain it really. It just doesn't feel. Not quite right still. It's mainly the AI, I think. Maybe it's because I've got it unrealistic. Maybe they're not so. I don't know. If you haven't a hard day, you just win all the time. So it's kind of. kind of pointless. Anyway, right, we're on the last lap. Can we uh, do any better than P8? Or are we going to do any worse than P8? Hopefully not. Can we get Hammaker? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I don't think we're gonna, because that sound section is not a friend. Bogs us right down. Better that time, but alright, it's gonna be P8. Alright, not, not brilliant, but better than last time out, I guess. Definitely better than last time. There we go. Justin Cooper took the win, Hunter Lawrence second, and uh, our teammate, Pierce Brown, was third. Um, we were P8, and we were slow, man. 58.6, they were doing 56s, 57s. Uh, even a few of the guys behind us were quicker than us, but we managed to keep them behind. 
Ophelia, we could be losing championship lead. Let's have a quick look. Oh, we've still got it. We're, <laughs> we're tied on points with McAdoo. All right. Damn. Not good, mate. Not good. We've taken two wins. He's at zero. So, I mean, that's good. But we need to step up our game. The next couple of rounds, we're going to be going into, uh, what, round six? Is any, any, what, six, seven, eight, nine, four? Six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, four rounds left after this one. So, damn. All right, it's getting tough. Let's, uh, let's do another race. Right now, qualifying's done with, and we're, uh, we're P1 with a 32 second lap time, uh, as you do, compared to a minute 46. This game is broken, mate. This game is broken, as we all, as we all already know. Uh, I, I, I hate whinging about stuff. Like, I, I like Milestone games. If, without them, we wouldn't get all these Motocross, Supercross, MotoGP, all those games. So I'm not hating on Milestone too much, but come on, man. Why have I done a 32 second lap time? There's a wall jump on this track, which we'll see in the race, but I mean, I'm not gonna crash on purpose, but if you hit the wall jump at anything other than like one mile an hour on the right hand side, you just crash. All the AI hit the same bit and they crash pretty much every lap. I've done a 32 second lap time because I went off the track, it respawned me at the end of the track. Like I wasn't even halfway around and it's respawned me right by the finish line. So I've done like a, yeah, a 30 second lap. <laughs> We were already in P1 before that happened, so because of the wall jump thing, so I don't know. Let's see how we get on. We need to win a race anyway, so maybe maybe some glitchy uh, glitchy race winners anyway we're going to do it, but uh, let's get into it and see what happens. Here we go, Atlanta Motor Speedway. Atlanta, we got, uh, I think we've got three races here. Oh, hello, mate. Hello, hello, buddies. What's going on here? Um, yeah, I think we've got three rounds here as well, so let's just go, oh, let's just go full inside and uh, try and get a good start, man. But yeah, we've got three rounds here, so... We'll see if they're all buggy like this one, but let's hopefully get a win. Decent start, decent start. Right, very decent start actually. Tight. Oh, you're joking, mate. Is it just going to cut me? I see what I mean. Buggy. I told you, this track is just completely bugged. I didn't even go off the track. What? Why did that just respawn me in the middle of... <sighs> here we go, here we go. I mean, that was a bit unfair, wasn't it? I mean, this is quite a buggy track, so let's see how we get on. If 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 we can make it straight back up again, because they were going to crash on this wall jump, then whatever. If not, I might restart. Because come on, mate. I mean, I need I need a little bit of uh, help here. We're, we're struggling enough as it is. Like, let alone if you're going to respawn me off the start of the race. Sorry, lads. Need to uh, get past you, boys. All right. Yeah. So coming up here in a minute. All right. If you go to the right hand side, which looks, oh, I get away from that tough block, looks like they're all gonna do, they're all just gonna hit the, pretty much all of them. All right, McAdoo and, uh, and Owen didn't. Oh, we're going off the bloody track again though. Yeah, see what I mean? They all just go flying over that wall jump. <laughs> it just completely annihilates them. I mean, even without that, we're, we're, we're quicker anyway, we are quicker around this track, as long as I don't make any stupid mistakes. We should better get this win. But this is this is the thing I can't stand the most about all the issues we have with these games. Like, again, I'm not hating on Milestone, I, I appreciate the games they make. Oh my god, hang on, let me let me concentrate, let me not bad my them and then just me ride terribly. But, like, I don't know, just the bugs, the little bugs like that, it just ruins it. Like, And it's just the inconsistency of the AI. Like, Last race we did it right, we were what, P8. Could have done a lot better to be honest, that was, that was my mistake last time, right? But race before we were like, dead last, last episode or whatever it was, not dead last, but we were, we were pretty bad. Uh, and then this time, we're like, P1. Uh, mainly because of, I guess, well, I don't know, I definitely got more pace than, even without that. Oh, dude, they're so annoyed. They're so annoyed, and they can just turn. Oh, mate. We really gotta win this race, like, I'm not joking. We need serious points in this championship. I mean, making stupid mistakes like that is not helping. All right. I mean, I'm taking liberties as well by doing stuff like that, but this group section was horrible. Was it like that in real life? Oh, here we go. All right, well, this is just a mess. This is a mess of a race. Let's just see if we can calm down a little bit. Get ourselves a nice, normal win. It's not going to be that normal because I assume Hamaka is going to... There we go. <laughs> that is the perfect <laughs> illustration of them hitting that wall jump and just crashing. It happens to you as well. If you, if you go to the right hand side and you're going a little bit too quick, you, uh, you do the exact same thing. They also suck really bad through that rhythm section there. So if you can uh, get that bit nailed, 
you're, uh, you're laughing pretty much. Right, here we go, right front. Only a minute left, because this is a long old, uh, long old lap, unless you get the, the 30 second lap glitch like I did in qualifying. Otherwise it's like a 1 minute 40 something, 1 minute 50. But yeah man, I don't know. Inconsistent AI, it's very annoying. It's fine if you play online all the time, that's all you do, it's all good. But if you uh, if you like playing career mode and you, you know, you actually want a bit of a challenge, but you don't want to make it too hard, you just, you just don't know what difficulty to use. Anyway, I'm going to stop whinging now, that's it, that's me stop whinging. Apart from that, this track's sick, I really like this track, this is a nice layout. Obviously, uh, was this new just for, for the 2021 season? I think it was, I think it's because they were struggling for, for tracks and stuff, this is obviously another um, you know the car circuit right now, so I'd like Daytona, but um, uh, messing this up. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, I don't know. Was that a one-off, or are they doing that this year as well? I'm not honestly sure. Let me know in the comments. But uh, yeah, this track's cool. This track's cool. So, oh my god, really? Yes, yeah, so we got three rounds here. So uh, next episode we'll do. Uh, round two and three and then uh, I believe the final is in Salt Lake City and that will be 250s done and then will be up into 450s so let me know what teams you want to uh, what teams you want to go for I've got no idea what we can obviously go for it depends uh, well depends how we get on I guess in uh, in this 250 season hopefully we come away as 250 West champions but it's going to rely on some more races like this I, I think because yeah we've been pretty inconsistent otherwise I mean, do look at the gap. He says, "Has he?" I, I need to not make any mistakes. We just need to win. I know this is kind of kind of cheating. I feel I feel kind of bad. They literally updated the game the other day as well. What, by the time you're watching this, it was probably a couple of days, maybe even five or six days ago. They updated it. I don't know. I don't actually know what the updates was. I didn't look at the uh, the patch notes. But it obviously wasn't to fix uh, fix the ball jump at Atlanta. Obviously, clearly. Oh my God! What is that? That sort of stuff as well, like, just getting, you go over a jump and you just get pulled to the left or the right side. Like, I'm not leaning to the left or the right side, I promise. It's not just me being completely useless. I know I'm not a pro at this game, <laughs> it's just mad. It's just madness. Anyway, we'll wait and see. We'll wait and see how we get on in uh, the rest of the races in the 450s, but um, yeah. Definitely going to check out my OGP, as I keep saying, definitely going to, uh, there's been some more sort of information about MX vs ATV uh, Legends. It's looking like it might not be too expensive, there is a lot of DLC, um, and a lot of sort of, you know, deluxe packs and, and all that sort of stuff you can buy, but the, the most, exp <sighs> most expensive one I've seen in UK money is like 60, 65, 69 possibly pounds, or 69. Um, and that's like all the, the all the OEM bikes, all the uh, national motocross championship tracks, uh, some like customization pack, obviously the game itself. Um, I don't know if it's like a season pass, so if they do anything else, you'll get it as well. But it's not bad, really, considering this was 60 quid without any DLC whatsoever. This game was 59.99, and uh, MX Racers ATV are giving you all that stuff. I mean, arguably, you probably should get those tracks already in the game and arguably the yeah actually I don't know the OEM bikes so I guess it is about the same as, as what this is but obviously we're going to get other stuff as well you know random tracks you know not real tracks you know imaginary tracks uh, we're going to get all the other vehicles as well all the ATVs buggies and all that I assume I assume we're getting all that back um, but yeah that comes out soon man May so that'll be another uh, another one to look out for on the channel but anyway without right further ado let's get this race wrapped up Look, I've walked on a fair bit today, so I apologise. Oh my god, what's going on? Never mind, at least we're going to take a race win, hopefully. we got got uh, Hamaker, Pierce Brown, Costello and Chris Los. Top five. So, not really any of the dudes that are right next to us in the championship, so... There we go. Cheeky race win. It's a bit of a glitchy one, bit of a bit of a cheat, but we will definitely take it. There we go, took the win. Seth Amico second, Pierce Brown third, as we said. Uh, Hunter Lawrence was down sixth, McAdoo down ninth, nice. Where was, um... Oh, dude, Swole was down 18th. All right, happy days. He, uh, he struggled, so championship-wise, should have put some points into some people. 
Yeah, we've got a nice eight point lead over our teammate. Gas Gas 1 and 2. Not too bad. He's taken a win at some point. I didn't even realise. McAdoo is another four points behind him. And then uh, Hamaker is eight points behind him. And Blumen out of just dropped, dropped like a like a fly. That's right, that's good. Alright, well, hopefully next round we can uh, get another win or at least a podium and um, stick at the top of this championship. But uh, there we go. Atlanta Motor Speedway, race number one is done. Well, cool, there you go, guys. That's another episode done. We've done another two races. As I said, we've only got a couple left. Uh, three, I think it is. So we'll do another two next time out and then we'll do the last one, I guess, in an episode. And then we'll just start the 450s fresh. Um, still top of the championship, just about. Still got the red plate, eight points in it. Uh, and that is pretty much it. It looks like we got injured, actually. What, uh, what injury did we get? A knee knee bur bursitis. I've never heard of that in my life. But uh, all right, we've got a bad knee. 10 grand to fix it. Or we can go do a workout. I'll probably just fix it with Bunny. But uh, that'd be nice, wouldn't it, in real life, if you could just pay to get stuff fixed. I mean, I guess you sort of can, but not instantly. Uh, our journal is just going to be all the usual stuff. Passed a few things in there. Uh, skill points are all done now. I didn't say that in between races. We've uh, maxed out that. So can't go any further than that. That's pretty much it. So anyway, hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave some comments down below. Give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you next time for some more Supercross 5. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers. Bye.